Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLulo and we're here at the South Park Center. I'm here with John with his movie, Remission. Let's take a look at the clip. Um, thank you very much for being here, John. Oh, thanks for having me. Appreciate you. Thank you for bringing your film to us. Um, for those that haven't seen it, tell us a little bit about your film. It's a creature art film that explores post-traumatic stress disorder, and it's a collaboration between myself and Paul Kaiser. We co-wrote it together, and it was made as a love letter to his daughters. Mm -hmm. He um, served in the U.S. Navy Special Ops EOD, and Many years ago, his uh, life fell apart when he came back seeking to readjust to civilian life. It's a common issue amongst mm -hmm. uh, serving veterans, mm -hmm. as we know. And he's uh, turned that angst and the challenges that he face, faces internally into being a fine artist. And this is a, one of the outlets that um, he brought it to was this art film. He's mm -hmm. also a fine artist. He does um, He's very large scale it, yeah. paintings and sculptures, all kinds of things. But uh, he came to me and he wanted to make a film for his daughters and then we started from there. Wow. And he's lost contact with them. Um, as I mentioned, he went through hell when he came back. Yeah. And um, since I've known him for the last five years, he's been on the up and up doing amazing work, Great. sober, and absolutely should be um, reconnected with his children. And this mm -hmm. serves as a way of reaching out. Well, it was an extremely intelligent um, film and it had so many layers to it. There was so much emotion and feeling into it. And I really commend him. I wish I got to speak to him more last night because yeah. you just, felt all you, you just felt him so much and what he'd been through and i think it's so important for someone who's been through some such tragic things that the human eye yeah. should never experience and then able to therapeutically articulate that into his genius of being a fine artist and, yes. and that that that's quite an under quite a personal just particularly being a love letter to his daughters yeah. that must have felt really wonderful as a filmmaker for you that someone who's you know served this country yeah. and, and done so much for this country and you know therapeutically made this film on behalf of yourself must be very like wonderful for you to be part of a, something like that, right? Uh, not just for me, but for everyone on the crew. Yeah, I would say that we took this so much further than any other project any of us have ever, ever worked on. Yeah, because it was bigger than any of us, bigger than the film. It had. Uh, something that was driving us that was very meaningful yeah yeah because I honestly like w one thing that was great last night because it was a celebration yeah. of s veteran cinema uh, on, on so many different levels and I think we still have such a struggle to support veterans once they've you know fought for and it's insane because this shouldn't be the yeah. case that they fought for us we should fight for them and I was so wonderful to see him you know make this film together. Um, how do you go about, because you gave yourself challenges, you had this beautiful animation yeah. mixed with, you know, real life. And I was, right. like, I, I was like, how did you create that and make that? How do you entwine all that? Because that, that must have taken a lot of work. Right, so again, because it, it was co-created between Paul and I, he brought all that incredible fine art mm -hmm. to the project. So, for example, with the animation, those are all hand-drawn by Paul. Wow. And that's, like, the most basic thing in the world. When, I, when we talked about what we needed to do, this is just child's play as far yeah. as, like, the type of artwork that he typically does. It was very simple, but we wanted it to be simplified and made into a way that it kind of 
continued the cinematic language of the live action. Yeah. If you if you notice, there's nothing that's typically animation like in no, it, no. where like you're doing things that are physically impossible. No. It was almost as if we had a large scale dolly setup or yeah. even a drone that's just creeping in, and it's yeah. kind of it has this meditative quality that we were seeking to achieve and, yeah. and it continu It starts with the animation and, and it's what you call a 2.5D. So that's the technique. It's very simple, but it was more about um, the art and the way in which the compositions were made mm. and specifically all of the sim symbolism that we wanted to bring to the uh, bring to the attention of the viewer yeah. before we dive into the live action we like we, we highlight the the different gifts yeah you know yeah. you really did like i felt like i was in this like almost like a trance you know that's like, what I we was, were going for so you, that's awesome <laughs> game over okay interview <laughs> over just kidding no but they, i really yeah. did and 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 I, I loved it because it also taught about the psychology of what one may go through you yeah know? And, and, and sometimes when you haven't been through something, right. you fail to appreciate yeah. what that person has gone through. And I think it actually helped me have a deeper understanding um, for, for people that have gone through certain things, particularly, you know, suffering from post what they've experienced. Post-traumatic yeah. stress disorder, exactly. Yeah, post-traumatic stress disorder. So one of the things that Paul mentioned to me is that he's often offended by the way this is portrayed in mainstream media. It's oftentimes looking at it from the outside for one so you're looking at this guy and you're almost like in a position of judging this mm -hmm, person mm -hmm. when you're watching this watching the film so it's some veteran hauled away in a, mm -hmm. a motel room with a bottle of jack daniels and then like drunk driving through the desert it's like all these cliches that we see yeah. over and over again so we wanted to flip it and go inside the mind of somebody that's struggling with uh, something that really can't be expressed with mm -hmm. words or simplified in such a way that it can be easily expressed just from watching someone from the outside. Yeah. So we use symbolism as a way of delving into things in the same way that art does, yeah. generally speaking, when you look at um, when you go to a museum, yeah, that's the beautiful thing is you can yeah. you can look at that painting or and your friend, next to you may have a different interpretation right, right. and it sparks a conversation so That's we wanted beauty, to yeah we wanted yeah. to bring that same um approach to how people would ingest this film mm -hmm. as a way of starting a conversation and, right. and, and discussing well what did that mean and you know having it that the conversation continue after you see the film. Well, the, and honestly, it's, I actually watched it a few times because I want to see oh, if right. I felt a different interpretation yeah. every time. And it did make a huge difference when I saw it on the big screen. Oh yeah. And I was watching it last night again and I was like, wow, this is an experience, you know, right now. It's, uh, what was the feeling like to have your film on a big screen in front of an audience? What is that for you as a filmmaker? Well, that's the way it was meant to be seen. Right? Absolutely. Uh, if you're going to see it later on on the internet, um, the best thing you can do is wear, use headphones mm -hmm. because there's a wide range of things that are going on from an audio um, oh, perspective. It's incredible. And Paul Kaiser was also the composer, and then we he's so multi talented. He is. He, is, he is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Morgan Johnson, he did uh, the sound design, and he's like a major commercial sound designer, and wow. he's had never really kind of gone off the deep end in such a mm -hmm. surreal landscape. So it was amazing to have these two um, brilliant uh, musicians mm -hmm. and sound engineers, sound designers together to to make this the soundscapes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I love that you took this, you could have taken the concept of what he'd been through and just done that cliche of someone who's experienced such and such and such and you didn't do that. You gave us a, such a great psychology of the mind, yeah. um, which I thought was so refreshing to see. And I think many people should see this that may not understand what people go through. I think it was really, really good. And, and obviously articulating that with 
that his incredible finite talents was was wonderful. Yeah. Um, what a great dynamic you both got together. And I think also as well, one thing I even felt when he was there last yeah. night is that, you know, it, it, this film is so deeply personal too about mm-hmm. and, and, and can, can resonate with it's, a lot of people. Fun, it's, it's deeply personal to me because sure. as I mentioned before, for, I've, I've been his close friend for five years, as right. I mentioned, and I feel that he absolutely should uh, it should be mandated that yeah. he and his children are are reconnected. 100%. So, um, I my my greatest hope is that uh, when they do see this film, yeah. they'll know how much their father loves them. Yeah, because there's so much that went into it, and it's right. a reflection of of his of his struggle. To, it's a love to, letter. Yeah, it's and it's a great legacy, I think, also to 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 to. to give them you know what i mean i think yeah. it's not i mean do that. I, just imagine so say if your parents made some far out film that they spent you know years to make um that would be quite impactful it would mm. say it says so much without oh, words it, it really does and i hope I really hope with this film that's a resolution. That's why I almost felt last night, I was like, you know, the whole film festival and the Hollywood and the whole thing, I felt like it was so much more deeply personal than that and so much more important that the message and what what he was trying to display was yeah. much more important than kind of the Hollywood fluff. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you know what I'm trying to say by that. Um, what is next for you? So Paul and I have a couple of projects on the dock that were... Uh setting up right now um one is going to be a tv series that deals with mental illness so not just ptsd other aspects and exploring it yeah in in a similar way to remission in in terms of delving into the internal struggle and trying to seek understanding from an alternative lens in a way that we haven't seen before and using symbolism. However, it will become a bit more narrative in Mm -hmm. our future endeavors. So we have uh, one project that would serve maybe as some kind of, as a pilot, but also a standalone short film on its own. And then uh, an, an additional short film that's coming up next that you'll have to um, stay in tune to, oh, to, see, to see what that's all about. And uh, if you check out our website, remissionfilm.com, that will, that that. will forward on to whatever our next project is. Well, I'm, I'm really glad that you're challenging subjects. I mean, I think the, the issue of of mental health is, yeah. you know, we, we are putting a band-aid and a taboo on mental health and we shouldn't. Right. And I think the more that we see it on our big screens and the moving image, the, the better it is that people have to understand and hopefully have a relation to right. that as well. So thank you for your Absolutely. work and what you're doing. And say a big thank you to, to Paul as well and uh, yeah. what you're doing together. So thank you for a mission and, and thank you, John, for being here today. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, as I mentioned last night, um, Paul is currently production designer on a feature film, and that's why he's not here at this interview at he's the moment. He's working, yeah. He's working, and he, and this is just a testament to the power of short films. Yep. Because of remission, this new opportunity came about. Yeah. And it's amazing. We're all so proud of him. Well, I mean, it, it's amazing. You were 16 hours. Was it 16 hours? He that was, you were, yeah. yeah. 16 hours already into a, a project and is not here today. So it's hard work being a filmmaker, but yeah. the results are, are wonderful. So thank you very much to both of you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Permission to